Hello everyone, today I'll be reviewing This Is Us Season 6, Episode 7, titled Taboo. I'll be getting into some spoilers, so if you haven't seen the episode yet, there is your warning. I'm gonna get right into it now. I'm gonna kind of break down each of the different Thanksgivings that happened in this Thanksgiving episode in the middle of March. So we start out with Rebecca and Jack who invited Rebecca's parents for Thanksgiving. It's kind of a quiet Thanksgiving compared to the other two that we have in this episode. But there is definitely some tension that occurs. Interestingly enough, Rebecca's father really doesn't cause any drama in previous episodes that he's been in. He's kind of just been difficult, especially for Jack. I don't know if we ever quite got a resolution for that or if he just kind of like, okay, accepted, like, okay, Rebecca, if you love him, that's fine. Let me know in the comments what I forgot. So much has happened in the show, I, I forgot what happened with that. But anyways, most of the tension in this timeline is with Rebecca and her mother, and her mother's just kind of critiquing everything she does, which we've seen in previous episodes of the show, but at this point, Rebecca's gotten to a point where she's just done with it. You know, she's trying to make this Thanksgiving meal for her parents and for Jack and just do it out of the kindness of her heart, but at the same time, obviously, it's very difficult when she's being criticized on every little thing. But ultimately, they tell Jack, well, Rebecca's mom tells Jack that they're going to be moving, which is something Rebecca didn't know. And then Rebecca's like, oh, you're moving, mom? And then Rebecca's mom's like, Jack, you told her you weren't supposed to tell her. And they kind of resolve that little conflict there. And I guess that's why we don't see a lot of Rebecca's parents in the other timelines. We've really only seen them in this sort of time period, in the early stages of Jack and Rebecca's relationship. We've seen her mother in some episodes, but not... I don't think we've seen her her father, so I don't know what happens there. But I thought this was a nice storyline, and I always like the episodes that have like the same theme or setting or situation like Thanksgiving in each of the timelines, just kind of connecting them all together. Um, moving on to the next section, the next Thanksgiving, which was mainly focused on Rebecca and Miguel's relationship, and I really think this show has done a great job at making Miguel and making him a likable character. It started off where we just really, you know, it was hard to like him because it seemed like he was replacing Jack, but that, I don't think that's really the case. It never really was, but now they've really gotten to a point where we're really rooting for Rebecca and Miguel to get together, at least I am. So they both have their dates on Thanksgiving, and it's very clear that neither of them want... It's like they like their dates, but at the same time, they're, they're almost kind of just using them. But they, they almost don't want to admit their feelings for each other because that could cause a lot of problems obviously. So in this timeline, other things are going on. We're kind of seeing the beginning of Kevin's um, addiction to alcohol, and then we're seeing Kate starting to gain weight, and we're seeing how Randall is just always trying to fix things. One thing I'll just kind of point out is like, I've, I think I've mentioned this in previous videos, but I don't always get the connection with these teens and the present day. I think they're all great actors, but I don't always know if they quite are the same as their present day actors. And I especially was thinking about it with Beth. I, she just seems quite different in this time period. But at the same time, I mean, this is what, 20 something years earlier, I think? So they've surely had changes over time, but just like certain things they do, and I feel like Beth would have more of a sense of humor. She just seems to have such a sense of humor. But anyways, I'm not gonna like criticize that a lot, because I still think the show works, even if they are a little bit different in the different time periods. But 
Anyways, one thing I one did like in this was how they showed each of the different time periods, like doing certain things, but specifically with cutting the or carving the turkey, you had like Rebecca wanting Jack to do it, and then you had Rebecca asking Miguel to do it, and then in present day, Miguel is just doing it. I think it was Miguel, but yeah, it was interesting how that sort of shifted over the years. And they had other things throughout. The pie was a major thing that I'll get to in a little bit. And as we see, I didn't quite catch this at first, but in the previous Thanksgiving, Rebecca's mom whispers something in her ear, which I guess can be assumed to be the secret ingredient. So, but anyways, at the end of the episode with Miguel and Rebecca, they have this moment outside where it's clear that they like each other more than just friends and they're kind of like they're just like yeah the jokes we made about you know your date they weren't innocent and they both say that and it's weird because Miguel at this point says that he's moving and it's like right at the moment that they're starting to come together but I think the biggest problem was Kevin who was like yeah, well, when you start to feel the ground rumbling beneath your feet, that's my dad. And it's just like, no, Kevin, that's not true. Jack would not have thought that. He would have wanted what's best for Rebecca. But obviously, Kevin is in a difficult stage in his life, and it's just kind of taking everything out on everyone else, even though it's partly his fault <laughs> for you know I mean he cheated on Sophie and now he's taking things out on other people but poor Miguel and Rebecca we do know that ultimately they will find each other again so that's good but it was super sad and it felt like this like epic love story and I almost wish we've got to see it a little bit more and I think that's one thing in the show we haven't seen like a lot of. We've seen these really solid relationships, you know, Jack and Rebecca, Randall and Beth. That's probably about it, but still, those are super strong relationships. But we haven't really got to see a ton of like these long sort of love stories. We, you know, we have Kevin, but he's just all over the place. It's not like there's necessarily one clear person for Kevin. I think it's Sophie, but anyways. Moving on to the final Thanksgiving. It literally is the final Thanksgiving. I mean, it's not, but kind of for this show. So the whole family, minus Madison, because, you know, she doesn't come. Kevin sings a song about it. I guess he sings now. Um, <laughs> Uh, and then Nikki also isn't there, so I don't know what that was all about, but anyways, we don't have them there, and Beth tells Randall, you know, this is a Pearson Thanksgiving, there's gonna be drama, just you wait, and obviously that is true, this is, this is us after all. Another thing that goes on is Toby and Kate are having some disagreements, and it all kind of seems to be related to food, and Kate's, you know, I don't know, she gave him, like, cereal and then let him lick a spoon of the batter or something, and I guess Toby's freaking out about that. <laughs> but, oh well. I mean, it's obviously gonna lead to something more. They kind of, they seem to sort of work things out and kind of come to an understanding, but then Rebecca's like, Kate, uh, sorry to interrupt, but uh, I have a more dramatic conversation to have with you. Um, <laughs> so that conversation is cut short, which is probably not a good thing because, you know, they kind of resolve the issue, but not really. So it's still going to be looming. And obviously there's other things. In a previous episode, Kate was like, yeah, it's so much more than just that, you know. And I don't necessarily know what that means. It's almost like I feel like there's something they're not, they haven't shown us yet, like other problems they're having. But moving on to the real meat of the episode, which is where Rebecca is kind of telling her three children the plan for the end of the show, basically. 
So this is, it's all very super emotional, but I mean, it's not like over the top. I don't think it's done in a realistic way, but I thought everything Rebecca said was just so powerful. I mean, she just kind of says, this is what we're doing and I want to hear y'all say, yes, ma'am. And I thought that was great. And she kind of just says that Miguel is going to be the one in charge of all the decisions, you know, health related as her health will potentially decline. And obviously it most likely will, as we have seen in the flash forwards. But then she kind of adds another element to that and says, if anything happens to Miguel, then there's one of you that I'm going to have make the decisions. And, you know, I was kind of thinking, I'm like, it's gonna be Kate, isn't it? I mean, it's not something that I had a lot of time to think about. She said that and then like within, I don't know, 15 seconds revealed who it was. But I was just kind of like, I feel like it makes sense to be Kate because if she chose Randall or Kevin, there would just be another huge fight. And I think she knew that. But then at the same time, I feel like even besides that factor, it makes sense for Kate to make the decisions. And I, I don't quite know why at the, you know, at the end of the episode, Kate asks, she's like, why me, mom? And Rebecca's like, it's always been you. And I, I'm not entirely sure what she meant by that. She says that Kate's her best friend, which is super sweet, but I, I don't entirely know what she meant by it's always been you. I And I'm almost okay with not knowing what that means because it's kind of just interesting and sweet, but I, I feel like I get it though, you know? Like, yeah, like weirdly it has always been Kate. That's like, they've always been best friends even though they've also always had like disagreements with each other throughout their life so i thought that was really sweet that that happened and i don't i mean yeah i think it was important for rebecca to d pick one of them to make the decisions because they could have disagreements and i hope they don't have any more disagreements because that's obviously been a problem in the past and I mean, overall, let me just say, Mandy Moore was great in this episode. Excellent, actually. I mean, if you look, she was in every time period. You had her kind of being frustrated with her mom picking her apart, and then you had her and Miguel kind of having that romantic sort of tension that's just quite there, you know, and it's kind of comedic at first, but then it gets super sad when Miguel says he's leaving, and then you have the present day where she's just telling her kids what the plan is for the end of her life. So uh, yeah, I think Mandy Moore did a great job. I hope she at least gets an Emmy nomination. I know the Emmys are silly, but <laughs> hopefully she'll get a nomination at least. Um, also, one thing, I don't think I've mentioned this before, but I feel like this show is really, really has some good editing that I think is overlooked by other shows. And I've pointed out how the show, you know, the writing, directing, even cinematography, production design, the score, really everything about it is great. But one thing I haven't quite said a lot is that the editing is really good. I mean, you, it's there's a lot of times where it matches pretty perfectly between the different timelines and just cutting from like one segment of a certain thing to another that is you know similar and theme or content or whatever but uh, just wanted to point that out there and I mean overall I just think it was sweet how at the end Rebecca told Kate what the secret ingredient was kind of want to know what it was but it's okay but as this show is coming to an end I would like to know in the comments what your favorite shows are because I'm gonna need another show to watch after this is us to review this is my favorite show thing to review and I'm so thankful for you all for commenting and keep commenting I love to hear your thoughts you can like subscribe comment check out my Instagram if you want but whatever you want to do it's up to you thank you everyone so much for watching and God bless